Gas has gone up and we're trying to figure out how much more Sally will pay this week than last week. If you take the amount of money she spends at the gas pump and divide it by the price per gallon, that's going to give you the number of gallons she bought. All right, so let me see. So she spent, last week she spent $26.40 and the price per gallon was $1.65. So that's the number of gallons. So this week she pays more. So if we take $1.82 times however many gallons she bought, she buys the same amount both weeks. That's how much she spent this week. Minus how much she spent last week. And last week was $1.65 times the number of gallons. And that difference will be how much more she pays this week. So you've got this common factor. I would factor that out. 2640 divided by $1.65. If you factor that out of each term, you're left with $1.82 minus $1.65. So that is 2640 divided by $1.65. And that's 17 cents. 17 cents. Normally I like to multiply by 100 or 1,000 or whatever to move my decimals, but I think on this one, I would just bite the bullet and just do long division. So you got $1.65 divided into 2640. And with long division, you gotta make sure your decimal's on the far right, so that's gonna put it, put it here. And 165 will go into 264 once. And that's going to be a 5 and a 6 and a 1. And that's going to be a 9 and a 9. And then bring down a 0. And that's going to go in there about, it's going to go 6 times. 6 and 5 is 30. 9, 9. Perfect. So I have 16. This value of this is 16. So I've got 16 times 0.17. 7 times 6 is 42, that's going to be 11, it's going to be a 1, 6, that's going to be a 2, a 7, a 2, and I'm going to move my decimal over two places. Spent $2.72 more this week, and I think that's the fastest way to work it. Not always, though. I usually like to make these integers and then do factor, factor trees and cancel, but uh, it's going to take a little bit of time to do the factor tree for 264, I guess it would be, and dollars in 165. So I would just stick the long, long way.